Callum Smith, the WBC's mandatory challenger, tried his best, but he was unable to deal with the skills and punching power of the dangerous Arter Better BF. After several rounds of taking punishment, the end came in the seventh round, and now a lot of people are wondering when are we going to get that Better BF versus Bivol fight? And I got to tell you, after that fight uh, yesterday with Callum Smith, that boy, and, and not only just that that fight, but other fights as well. That boy, better be if, is the real deal. I want to get my thoughts right here on gym boxing. What up, y'all? Much love, peace, and blessings to everybody checking into the video. This your boy, Get a Mic. And there was a big fight yesterday with better be if and Callum Smith. And um, I want to give my thoughts on the post fight and just kind of talk about the upcoming matchup with potential, uh, the potential matchup with better uh, with Bivol, excuse me. So last night, yesterday, I think it took place in Quebec, uh, Canada, and um, uh, better BF took care of business in grand fashion. Um, you know, shout out to Callum Smith. He put up a decent fight. Um, you know, he tried his, he tried to do his thing, tried to put his combinations together. He led with the jab, double, double jab, overhand, right. He kept trying to do his thing. Um, but eventually the power, the punching power and the punching, the skills that he had, um, you know, that better be have had was eventually too much for him. You know, he just broke him down. He pretty much took care of business, man. And, uh, he got him out of there in the seventh round. Um, and man, I gotta tell you, that boy, that boy, Arthur Better BF is the truth. He's the, he's the real deal. He's the goods, and um, he's gonna give anybody problems in or way, around his weight class. Um, and, and I gotta tell you, Dimitri Bivol, I mean, he's a heck of a fighter. He's extremely skilled. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be crazy to see how that fight turns out when them boys finally do get in the ring together. Um, but I, I would imagine that you know Dimitri Bivol. You know is looking at that fight and he has to, i'm pretty sure there has to be some sort of worry on dimitri bivol's mind because the way you know beterbi of better bf however you want to pronounce his name the way he was able to come out and really break down callum smith i mean it wasn't just power in this fight this man really really took his time and used his boxing skill his counter punching ability he had a good jab throughout the entire fight and he was able to walk Smith down and pretty much get him up out of there when he smelt blood, man. So congratulations to Better BF. It was a heck of a night of, of boxing for him. And um, now, man, it's time to look towards, you know, time to look towards that big fight with, with Bivol, man. I think that's what everybody's waiting for. Uh, Dimitri Bivol is a heck of a fighter. He's extremely skilled. He got punching power too, and he got quick hands, good, good footwork. So, I mean, it, it's gonna be something, man. I'm not really sure. Who I got winning that fight at this particular time because I, I believe uh, Dimitri Bivol is a little bit better. He's a little sharper, but I think um, Bivol he has a, a very very tough style to go against. He, he has a very tough style. He's very very strong. He's very patient. He uh, has uh, underrated boxing skills. You know he kind of fights in a way where it doesn't look that impressive but if you on the other end of it man he's like taking his time and breaking guys down and if you're not careful he's gonna start he's gonna start to get on you with those with those thudding shots them heavy shots and it's gonna start to hurt eventually man he's gonna probably end up getting you up out of there so uh <laughs> if i'm bivol i'm concerned but uh i think i think bivol is very skilled as well i think he should be he should be fine man but i think there was a little bit of um Flurry's going on in the fourth round where he was basically, he had uh, Callum Smith hurt. He was putting hands on him. And I think, he, you know, the ref had to warn him a few times about hitting behind the head. But, you know, I mean, the dude was just swinging his head all over the place, trying to get out of the way of those shots, man. So I don't think any of that was intentional. I think uh, Beterbius was just basically just trying to hit this man wherever he could hit him at, man, because he was trying to get him up out of there, man. So um, he eventually hurt him again. Uh, dropped him in the seventh and then you know he got back up the ref let him continue and he was able to go over there and pretty much finish up business man so um 
Yeah, so let me get into a little bit of this article real quick and then we get up out of here. It says a barrage of punches sent Smith down for the first time with his professional career. Hmm, didn't even know that. So Smith beat the count, but another barrage sent him down for a second time. Smith's trainer, Buddy McGirt, had seen enough and entered the ring to wave the fight off. In the aftermath of the fight, Batervia's promoter, Bob Arum of Top Rank, expressed their desire to finalize an undisputed fight with WBA light heavyweight champion Dimitri Bivol. And yeah, that's a fight we all want to see, and that's facts. Um, the contest matching two of the sport's pound-for-pound -pound fighters is likely to land in the second half of the year in the country of Saudi Arabia. It seems like that's where the majority of these fights are starting to go now, and I'm, you know, I have my opinions and thoughts as to why all of the fights is heading over there. But uh, we'll talk about that on the other channel. <laughs> if you guys not subscribed to get a mic, go over there, subscribe to the other channel where I talk about other things of that nature. So um, Aram is being discussed with Saudi uh, Sports Authority to work out the details for the fight. He says it's not done yet, but we absolutely want to do it. OK, he says we want to do it. But Ramadan is coming. So about three months after the end of Ramadan, we'll be ready to fight Dimitri Bivol. Um probably in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. So it looks like they're going to try to go ahead and get that fight done here in a couple of months. So in a few months. So hopefully we get that fight going. Who do you guys think is going to win that fight if they ever do get into the ring together? Do you believe that Baturviev is too strong and too skilled and he's going to eventually break Bivol down? Or do you think Dimitri Bivol has what it takes? And he's the younger, more youthful fighter and he should be able to handle business i just wanted to get in here and drop this quick video my reaction to the fight um pretty good fight though definitely pretty good fight but i just think baturvia was just too much for him he took his time and broke him down and um that's pretty much all i got for this one man so much love peace and blessings to everybody checking into the video this your boy get a mic and we out of here like last year peace out y'all